welcome to Spam Filter for Your Brain, bite-sized ponderings on how our thoughts influence our behaviour and our lives, and because we're all connected, how our thoughts impact the world. I'm here to help people reconnect with their bodies and declutter their brains. And I don't believe that we should just magically know how our emotions and our thoughts impact our lives if no one ever teaches us. So let's learn this stuff together. This week I wanted to touch base on something I hear a lot (laughs) around me. And that is getting yourself all mixed up and muddled up in other people's drama. I hear a lot of people talking about politics in a, oh, they do this, or they don't do that, or these kind of people do this, or they're always doing this kind of thing. Lots of pointing going on, lots of othering of different people. And I understand that we are living in very tricky times, and there is a lot of reason to be talking about how difficult, how hard and how incorrect some of the decisions you think are being made are and to be questioning, frankly, everything from your personal space through to the environment, through to borders, through to the economy and everything in between. But what I hear a lot of in the conversations is a lot of they are doing this, they are this kind of people, these kind of people always do these things and this is they are the bad people and I am over here with the good people and the good people would not do things like that. And It can feel very reassuring to band yourself in with the good people and all of the mistakes and terribleness that happen out there in the world to be the bad people. But actually, most of the times, things are a little bit more complicated than just a good bad binary. There are, of course, a whole lot of things that you can probably point to immediately. They're like, no, that thing's just really shit. And the people who do those things are terrible, terrible people. I'm not telling you that you are wrong to think those things. This episode, I would just like to draw a little highlighter ring around the fact that when you have this idea of good, bad binary, that things are wrong or they are right, people are good or they are bad, it is evil or it is justice, when you have this very black and white thinking, the person that you're going to use that against most is yourself. And when you have this idea that there is only one way to be on the right side or the wrong side of the world, of history, of justice, of care of others, you are going to start rehearsing and practicing this muscle in your brain that teaches you that there is no nuance, there's no complication. You either have it absolutely sorted or you are wrong. And there are probably very few things in your life where you feel you have it absolutely sorted, whether it is in your relationship, your family, your body image, your goal setting, your work environment. There's probably very few things where you feel you've absolutely nailed it 100%. And if you don't have it 100%, then you're probably going to be telling yourself you're in with the bad people or you're wrong or you haven't got it right. I'm not saying that you can't look at what is going on politically and judge it all you like. But if you are using that kind of thinking and it's not making you feel good about yourself, maybe there might be some other ways to frame it. Maybe people might just be making decisions that they think are right And you don't have to agree with what they think is right. Or maybe, as I have chosen to a lot lately, I don't get myself involved in things that I'm not witnessing personally. People tell me these people are doing this kind of thing or that person did that thing on social media or they always receive these kind of comments. Like, unless I can witness it myself, I don't know who these people are unless you can actually show me. And actually, this has enabled me to have a lot more time for the things that I care about that I want to create, rather than getting all lost in what other people may or may not be doing with their lives. And this kind of extra level of energy 
enables me to have some spare energy to create things that are more inclusive, like my coaching courses, which I offer free for anyone who wouldn't normally be able to afford them. So for the group coaching courses, I have them at a tiered pricing. Um, so it is, there's one, you know, it's uh, one price if you can afford it. There's a concession rate. And if anyone would not be able to normally afford access to self, self-care or any kind of, um, they're in a tricky situation, they can just come along. And I'm able to do that from a place of like it, being in alignment with giving and having the energy and the headspace to be able to create something like that in the world. I don't know that I would be able to do that if I was all lost in pointing out what other people should be doing better. Perhaps I would, but I don't know that I could do it as well (laughs) or create it as wholeheartedly. And, And I try and do that in all of the work that I do. And the more that I have stuck in my own story and looked at what impact I can have on the world, rather than the impact that I think other people shouldn't be having on the world, the more energy, the more space in my heart I have, and frankly, the more time I have in my world to be able to create more of the things that I want to see. So my invitation to you this week is maybe to just notice where you are calling things good, bad, right or wrong, left or right, (laughs) and just notice when there might be possibility for new ones. Because probably, more often than not, things are nearly always a bit more complicated than they seem. This has been an episode of Opinions, like all the rest of them. I hope you have a beautiful week. Hey, I just wanted to dip in at the end of the podcast and just explain what my pricing structure is. Because I know that lots of people find accessible pricing a little bit tricky to get their head around. Um, And it's easier if I explain it to you rather than reading it sometimes. Quite often, I think when we look at courses or things that we would like to do, our automatic default is I can't afford that without actually looking at what the cost is. And I try and make sure that all of my work is available to the people who need it most. So the way that I operate my courses and my photography is that I have... um, a price for people who can afford it and I have a price which is concessions for people who need that concession price and for all of my live coaching courses I offer a free space for folk who need it who wouldn't otherwise be able to afford self-care work. The reason that I do this is because I think that I really believe with all of my heart that self-care work and these kind of tools to manage our minds shouldn't be just safe for people who can afford it. And therefore, (laughs) I also offer the pricing available for folk who can afford it to be able to pay it forward and try and help um, support me in my mission to be able to make this work as accessible to as many people who need it as possible. And in this way, you manage to link your well-being and your self-development and your self-care into that of community well-being and community care and supporting other people, which um, is both very useful to be able to keep the whole system and structure going, but actually is a sneaky little brain hack to try and navigate around that idea that you shouldn't be doing this work because it's all navel-gazing self-indulgence. And this actually shows that you doing your work helps and benefits more people. So I hope that's a useful thing to know. I quite often I've had a bit of feedback from people not actually realising that there are scholarship bursary places available for the courses. And I just want you to know that if you need this and you are worried about paying your bills and you know that doing this kind of work could just help you feel like this is like things are okay, or things are going to be possible or you just feel like you're reaching for a rope ladder at the moment maybe the course could be it and maybe there is a space waiting for you here and by taking up that space you are helping all of us taking up that space is not taking a space away from other people there is not a cap on the number of people who I offer scholarships to you taking up that space encourages other people to be able to center their self-care so I hope that's useful for you and I would love to see you inside This has been Spam Filter for Your Brain, brought to you by Heard in London and Self Care School. If you'd like to know more, you'd like to see more incredible humans, please do hop onto social media, Heard in London, Instagram and my website, and Heard in London Photography on Facebook. 
And if you would like to learn more about how you can embed this stuff into your life and you'd like to join some of the incredible coaching calls and the group work, please do have a look at selfcareschool.co.uk. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned this week, please do drop me an email, hello at herdinlondon.com and I hope to see you again next week. Thank you for spending time together.